Hi, what's up everyone? My name is Hiba and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, uh, I have not uploaded a video on here in about two years and I'm back because I've graduated and I have quite some time before college starts. So, I have given the whole channel a makeover and I'm relaunching it and I'm going to be focusing on fashion centric content. I love fashion, I love combining style and comfort. My mom and I love watching, just admiring like fashion and TV shows and movies and I like to observe people on the street because I am creepy like that. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm going to be doing and for this video because I'm filming this about exactly a week after the friends reunion was streamed, I am doing a friends video. So uh, I am going to be recreating um, looks of the cast from their, one of the first publicity shoots for the show which was in season 1 in 1994 versus their looks which were seen in some clips of the reunion as well as in the reunion's poster from 2021. So without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm doing a little bit of a set change so that the cupboard and everything is seen. Um, the first David Schwimmer's um, looks, and he plays Ross, Ross Keller. Love him. Um, and we are going to be doing his 1994 look first. So, he has on a blue shirt, and it's like a chambray denim type shirt. So, for that, I am going to be using. This shirt of mine. This is a shirt from Ferramoda, yeah. And the sleeves are long, but they can be cropped because of a button. And it has this really cute knot detail, so I like this shirt. With that, he has on these beige pants, um, like baggy almost. I don't have beige pants, so this is from my mom's cupboard. This is from Banana Republic and I think the color matches what he was wearing really well so that's what I'm going to be pairing with my top and I think the, the colors beige and blue go really well so great okay then he has a beige jacket I have taken this from my dad's closet this is from this is from outdoor workwear I think <laughs> But um, basically, going for a more masculine jacket because the whole outfit is using things from my cupboard, my mom's cupboard. It just makes it more masculine and similar to what David was wearing. So that is the clothing. For shoes, he has on these beige shoes, which is very similar to uh, shoes my dad has, but I can't wear them. So I'm going with these shoes. These are also my mom's. I don't own shoes like this. But um, once again, these are feminine. So the jacket just makes it all, it ties it all together. Um, and yeah, that is David Schwimmer's 1994 outfit. For his 2021 outfit, I love it a lot. It's something I wear um, or I would wear. And so for that, he has, um, it's a gray collared shirt with like a zip which is like halfway through the shirt or it's like a shirt jacket type thing but I and for some reason I feel like we used to have that we couldn't find it so instead of that I decided to go with this shirt of mine the zipper I mean it is black but the zipper cuts almost exactly where his cuts are where it's cut in the photo and it's from Zara and I love this shirt I wear it a lot so that's what I'm going to wear for his shirt for the 2021 outfit with that he has like a bluish blackish jacket and um, I don't have something exactly like that but I have this which is from h and I think yeah and it's this black jacket and I, I think it's so so cute and I wear this a lot too. And it's not the same color, but it's a very similar style. 
I guess. It's just a little more feminine. So that's what I'm going to be wearing with that. And for his bottoms, he has on this almost skinny jeans type um, jeans. Um, and they're light blue. So for that, I, I actually used this light blue kind of skinny jeans almost or they are skinny jeans I rarely wear jeans um, and I do their skinny jeans so I have these very similar color to what he's wearing and so that's how I'm gonna come um, that's how the outfit for his um 2021 look to complete that he has on these blue or no black like shoes but they have laces with their form so I'm gonna be using Um, it's not really clearly seen in the photo what shoes he's wearing, um, but it's seen in the reunion, um, in the clips of the reunion, so that's what I'm going to be wearing to come see that. So those are David Schwimmer or Ross Geller's um, outfits he created using my clothes mostly, some of my mom and dad. For the next outfit, I'm going to recreate Jennifer Aniston, or better known as Rachel Green. Maybe not better known, but also known as Rachel Green. I love Rachel. Um, and so, for her 1994 outfit, she has this... It's like a cami top, um, and it's black, dark grey type. So for that, I have... So for that, I have this top. I think this is from H&M. Yeah, this is from H&M. I think it's very similar with like the almost wide um, straps. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be tucked in, so it's all right that it's a little long. But um, that's her top. For her skirt, she has on this um, straight, uh, but loose-ish a red skirt red backgrounded skirt with um gold details i don't have a skirt like that i i do have a very similar style but it's black and um gray instead of that i've gotten this from my mom's cupboard i don't wear skirts often when i do they're always flowy but i got this from my mom's cupboard this is from chico's and the style is very similar to what she had on and I love the colors of it. Um, obviously not the same as what she has on, but I think it'll go with um, the main outfit and I think it gives a very Rachel vibe. Um, and on top of that, she has on this beautiful cardigan, black cardigan. I have something exactly like it. I think this is from H&M. Yeah, it's from Divided, it's from H&M. And I love the details on this. I wear it a lot and yeah it's long and it's lacy and I like it so that is for the outfit now with that she has on these strappy black strapped beige wedged heels I have something similar to that I'm going with these these are not as strappy as hers but I think the colors are somewhat like muted tones of what's on the skirt so that would go and then it has the heels it's really dirty um, but those are the heels um, with that she actually has on a bracelet if I'm not wrong and it's like a chunky bangle-esque bracelet so I'm not gonna be doing the jewelry for a lot of the outfits but this one I think it was one of the things which I first noticed so I'm going ahead with this bracelet I do not remember where this is from I think I got it as a gift and I like it and I think it just matches the shirt a lot so yeah that's what I'm going with for her 2021 outfit 
I love it. Um, I actually have a top very similar to her sleeveless turtleneck knitted top she's wearing, but it's blue and yellow and white. So instead of going with that, I have decided to go with. This is from Benjamin Baker. The neckline is almost exactly the same as what she has on. It's sleeveless, it's black, and it is a lot more formal than what she has on. But um, I'm actually not going to be using the belt she has um, on. If you've seen the reunion, you see that she does have a belt on. I think it's from Gucci, but I'm not going to be wearing that. So. I think the shirt being a little more formal and sophisticated it just helps me avoid the belt. Um, and with that, she's paired that with jeggings, black jeggings. I don't have black jeggings, so I'm gonna just be wearing it with these black tights. I wear these a lot, and they have these buttons, and they're really cute. And they're from H&M. I have a lot of H&M things. But um, yeah, I think from far it's comfortable and from far it would look very similar to what she has on. So this is what I'm going to be wearing with the top. She's paired those with brown suede boots. Um, I used to have brown boots. I think they were suede. I don't have them anymore. But I have these boots of mine. They're not exactly the same color, but they are suede. They don't have the same heel either. But um, I like them. They're cute. So. I'm going to be wearing these. And to complete that look, she has on this dainty bracelet, but it has this like crisscross chunky chains, if that makes sense. So for that, I am going with this. I, it's such a cute, it's such a cute bracelet. And you know, it gives the dainty look because of these, but then it gives that chain look because of these. And I think it's cute. And it goes with the um, buttons on the tights. And I think, yeah, it looks really cute. So, those are Jennifer Aniston's outfits done. outfit I'm gonna be recreating is gonna be Courtney Cox or Monica Geller Bing um, and for her then outfit 1994 outfit it's quite basic I actually wear a lot of things like a lot of clothes of mine are very similar to that style with the plaza pants and the white top and the denim jacket so I love that outfit um and for that I actually I mean it's really easy to recreate this one you know, I have a sweat up from Lalu. This is also my mom's cupboard. I don't have many white tops like this, but this is from Lalu, and I think it's so cute. I, I especially love the sleeves on this um, top of hers. Um, the sleeves are not the same, but hopefully, this detail. Could you see that? I think you can. On the waist, I think it would help. Um, with that, she has on these wide-legged plazo pants. I own a lot of plazo pants, um, but they're not the same style as the one she's wearing, if that makes sense. But I have this new one, which I've never worn before, actually. And it's super cute. Um, but yeah, these are the pants I'm going to be wearing. They're kind of like skirt-like at the bottom, and this matches the shirt. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be wearing. It's also from Bermuda and I think we got it just a month or two ago. I've not worn it yet. So it does have a belt. I'm planning to just remove that when I wear the outfit. Um, and with that on her waist, she's just tied around a um, denim jacket, which is very simple to acquire. So I have this from Tommy Jean, the Tommy Hilfiger, whichever. It's 
really simple. Um, and that is her 1994 outfit done. I love how their outfits have um, changed over the what, 27 years. Um, I don't know if it's their style or the designer style or the producer style or whose style it is, but um, it's changed and they look like they're both amazing. I love their 1994 looks. I love their 2021 looks, but yeah, they're so different and I love that. Um, but for her 2021 look, she has this long sleeved black um, shirt which I have something very, very similar to that from Zara. Um, and I mean, it's simple. It's just a black long sleeve shirt with buttons and it's cute. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I don't think it's the same material at all, but that's what I'm gonna be using to recreate her shirt. Um, with that, she has these um, jeans. I'm going to be using the same jeans I used for um, uh, David Schwimmer's outfit because um, they're actually the same color um, and they're from Abercrombie & Fitch and it's just the same jeans being reused um, for Courtney's week. With that she has these super super cute boots. Um, her boots are like blackish brown with like buckles and stuff and I don't have anything exactly like that in that color. So instead of that I've gone with these dark brown boots. They have heels, they don't have buckles but I think they're super cute and yeah that's what I'm going to be wearing with the outfit. Finally she actually has on a gold chain with like a it almost looks like a musical note, the, the pendant. I don't have anything like that, but um, the only reason I wanted to recreate that is because that's like, you know, the one pop of color in her outfit. And it's also one of the first things I noticed in her outfit. So, I'm gonna just be using this gold, rose gold almost chain of mine. And um, yeah, so I think this one would be my best bet. And that is Courtney Cox's outfits. outfit I'll be recreating is Matt LeBlanc's outfits or Joe Trippiani um, and for his 1994 outfit it's actually probably the most difficult one I had to like find pieces in my hair it's the most difficult one um, to find pieces for um, just because it has like you know baggy jeans and I told y'all I don't wear jeans um, and the shirt also, I couldn't find anything like that. But I found this. So he has a really simple black um, t-shirt inside. Um, and so I'm just going with this. Um from British India. And it's just a simple black t-shirt. Nothing important there. Um, with that, as I said, there's this paint stroke lightning strike type of orange and um, black shirt. I don't have anything um, of that sort. I couldn't find anything of that sort. We decided that I would go with this. This is never worn before. This is also from um, Hilfiger Denim and I mean I love the pattern on it and it's one of the only shirts of mine which is like not long so it would give us a similar cut and style as what Matt LeBlanc has on um, but that's for the top of what he's wearing. For the pants he has on these baggy jeans light blue baggy feet 
um, and I have these from DKNY. This is also from my mom's closet, but they're um, more baggy than the jeans I own, which are skinny jeans. So I'll probably just fold the end, and um, that will be the jeans I pair for Matt LeBlanc's then outfit. He has on black shoes for um, for his outfit, so. I'm going to just be utilizing the same black shoes I... Did I even tell you all what Courtney's shoes were? Anyway, I'm going to be using these shoes for um, Courtney's and Matt LeBlanc's outfits. Because they have black shoes on. Um, and so that's his 1994 outfit done. For his 2021 outfit... Again, I think the the outfits the guys are wearing in 2021 are very similar to what I would wear and that's why I think I have very similar pieces in my cupboard, but his is personally my favorite. So, he has on a black shirt, a black t-shirt underneath his jacket. So, I'm just going to go ahead with the same shirt I'm going to be, I have chosen for his then outfit. Kind of a black shirt from British India. With that, he has on a, it's a leather jacket, kind of, like a winter leather jacket, but I don't have something like that, so instead of that, I have to send people away. Like this. And this is from DKNY, and it's not leather, but I think from far it gives a very leather feel, um, and it has, you know, the, the collar and the cuffs and everything are very similar to what his jacket has. So this is the jacket I will be using for his um, look. And then with that he has um, these like light blue skinny jeans. So I'm going to be reusing the jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch, which I've used for David Schwimmer and Courtney Fox's outfits. And finally, his shoes, um, they're again black, so, back to this, um, I've used these shoes in a lot of outfits, but yeah, so, we're gonna be using those shoes, and that's his outfits. The next outfit I will be recreating is um, the Sex and Drawers outfit, or Phoebe Buffet. But basically, for her then dress, uh, then outfit, she has on this like um, black long dress with like frillies at the bottom, and they're like they look really chopped up and stuff. It's it's a really cool dress. Um, but and I think it's probably maybe it was filmed at the time where Phoebe Buffay was supposed to be a um, goth character. If y'all didn't know, now you do. Um, but I don't have anything like that, so I decided to go with. It. This jumpsuit of mine. This is from Mango. And the reason I'm going with this is because it's a little long for me. Um, but the bottom, because it is long, it gives off this um, frilly vibe at the bottom. And I mean, from far, it, you won't, like, you can't even tell. Like, it's very comfortable, and from far, you can't even tell that it's, like, not a dress if you stand close together. And yeah. So that's what I'm going to be wearing as her dress. With that, she has on this super cute denim vest. And I have something exactly like that um, from Angelic Eyes. And so I'm going ahead with it, this. And it is a really cute vest. I've worn it with a lot of outfits of mine. And yeah, I think it'll be like really cool to pair the jumpsuit and the vest together and see how they look. And she has on black shoes. So, back to these. Um, 
and those are the shoes I'll be using to recreate her then look. For her now look, 2021 look, she has on this rust dress, um, a rust colored dress um, in a very specific style uh, and I do not have anything like that. But my mom actually just ordered this dress from uh, I think it's Shein. Yeah, and it's the exact same color. It's a very different style, but it's the exact same color, the background color. Um, hers doesn't have these flowers, but um, I think it just gives a spin to your look, and I think it's really cute. So that's what I'm going to be using to recreate her dress. Um, for the heels, she has these maroon mauve pencil heels with close toes, so I can go with these. They're not close toe, they're not maroon. They have the same heel as hers. And when I pair them together, they look really cool. And I mean, it just shows that you could put together anything in your cupboard and still be able to create these things. The um, outfits we have Matthew Perry or Chandler Bing. Um, I think this was very similar to uh, Madeleine Blanc's outfit, where it was a little bit difficult to find the jeans, uh, just because I don't know jeans like that. Um, but he has on this. Um, well, the shirt was really difficult to find too. I am actually DIY, kind of DIY the shirt with two shirts, just mixing them up together. But he has on this um, polo, which has almost in the tie line, um, this like, I forget what it's called, but it's a crisscross black and white zebra color thing, and it's a black polo. And then he has these dark blue baggy jeans with it. So, Ricky is bad. I have decided to go with this um, top. It is obviously fem more feminine than what he has on it, or it's more considered feminine than what he has on. But it's the same pattern. So this is what I'll be wearing inside of a black cardigan type jacket. This is from Banana Republic, by the way, and I think the shirt was from, oh yeah, it's from Banana Republic too. Um, and so I have this cardigan, which when you tie it, it is like this v-neck, so you'll be able to see the shirt from underneath. And he has that, he's paired that with light blue um, baggy jeans, so I have these baggy jeans to um, wear them with and they are from Old Navy and to complete his look he has on brown shoes so I'm gonna be reusing these from David Schwimmer's outfits and yeah that is Matthew Perry's then look done for his now look another thing which I would personally wear. Um, he has on this um, t-shirt because you could see it from under his jacket. So he is on this long-sleeved um, shirt, actually not t-shirt, shirt with buttons. And I'm going to be reusing um, the shirt from Courtney Cox's look from uh, Zara. With that, um, on top of that, he has a jacket on. Um, and for that, I think the closest jacket I have to that is this. Because it does look like he has somewhat of a hood on his thing. This is from Nike. Um, and I think the, the fabric and the style and everything is very similar to what he, the jacket he has on. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And finally, to complete, to complete the clothing part of his look, he has on these dark blue um, skinny jeans. So I have these from Abercrombie & Fitch. 
Um, and then he has um, these. They're like sneakers, but they're formal sneakers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my white school shoes. <laughs> um, and I think it will be really, I think it'll be really cool to use these because um, they have these pastel colors. And I think with his outfit being mostly just black, especially maybe creating it as just mostly dark colors, that will just bring a pop of color and complete his outfit. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Do give it a like if you did. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you know um, when I'll be posting the next video, which will be next week. Um, comment down below what your favorite Friends episode was and who your favorite character is or was. And yeah, um, if you would like to see what I was up to two years ago um, on YouTube, do check out my old videos. I'm not going to be de deleting them anytime soon, so you could go ahead and do that. And if you want to know where I was in the last two years, do follow me on my socials. And that's all for now. Until I see you next time.